It was only four years expired. <laughs> Sale day today, got the trailer hooked up this morning. And as usual, there's a few things wrong. You know, just nothing out of the ordinary, a flat tire. Um, and I was walking around the backside, I noticed something else a little expired. <laughs> it's okay. I've got the perfect cure for that. It was only four years expired. My, my rim broke on me. We'll probably be okay. We'll just put about 80 pounds in there. So yeah, we're gonna get this thing uh, aired up. Oh man, it looks like I'm gonna pick up tight blow too. Ugh. So I'm gonna spend four hours airing up all my tires this morning. This is my super trailer. Got a brand new floor in it. You know where I found this sucker? Give you one guess. Starts with a C. <laughs> Let's check this tire in here. Uh, this is where I keep my spares. Probably not the best spot to keep a spare tire. But see how it's starting to crack? Dry rot. Dang, I should put my spare on there. Run her till she blows. Yeah, found this puppy on Craigslist. I think I gave like $800 for it. I'm gonna set this up. Here's something I like to do, you know, especially with cows. Is I know it doesn't look that professional, but just having having a little quick, what, however you can shut this middle gate as quickly as you possibly can. It's kind of my favorite way to do it. I've got, we're gonna take one, two, three, four, five. We're just gonna take five head up today. I like to put three in the front and two in the back, they'll fit like that. Try to put the bull on the back since he's a little bigger. I'm gonna try to sort just three cows off first to put up on the front side of that trailer. I think it'll be okay, it should work pretty good. This is one nice thing about having pretty tame cows. She used to be really wild. Two, three. Always shut the gate behind you. Otherwise, you'll have a bull coming up on you. Hey, this gate, I'm going to leave open just in case they do come back. This is why, this is why I like this deal. I set up to be really quick. Right now. Come on, Curly. Oh, there's tons of space there. Big road trip to the sky. We're gonna go get Bruce the bull and his, and his other girlfriend. And don't worry, that one with the eye, I'm not gonna load it. It's staying here. I'm just, okay, so this is what I'm doing today. I'm just dropping these cows off today. They're gonna get preg checked at the sale. That old, old, old one, I don't know if they'll preg her or not. Let's take a look at her eye. Well, still pretty rough. But comparison from the other day, it's, it's, it's getting better. She's like, where's my friends? Why did you take me away from my friends? Trust me, cow, you don't want to be on that trailer. Oh yeah, I forgot one really important thing, guys. Almost forgot something. Police prevention. My 
my darn. I, I was backing up, hooking the protein tank up one day and ran right into it with my deal and it took my cap off. I mean, it still works just fine. It's just, I got a dangler now. Notice how calm and quiet these cows are in the trailer. Yeah, that's the other reason I like older cows. They're just more experienced. Well, we made it back from taking those cows up to the sale. Hopefully they do good. They, I don't know, just opened the trailer and loaded them, signed a couple pieces of paper and they're gone, which is the way it's always been, I guess. But made it back, come in and try to feed old one eye here. And uh, these cows are coming up in here. I might just open the gate and let them come up in there because her antibiotics should last for about 10 days before I need to give her any more. And she's not really eating that much either. I think she just wants to get back out with the rest of the cows. I guess they don't want to come in. You can look at, if you look real close, it's starting to snow. Kind of would like to get all this hay fed up along the bunk line here before before it ever snows too much because then it'll get wet and lay down on and then they just won't want to touch it but come on in here like nope no thank you i remember what happened last time we were in the crowds i'll just go out there and feed them out there they'll be all right good opportunity to just kind of walk through and make sure make sure everybody's happy I think everybody's okay. <laughs> I think everyone's okay. Walrus seems grouchy today. Why are you so grouchy? Oh, somebody's calling me. Hello? Apparently missed that phone call. Judging by the number, I'm assuming it's a robocaller. You know, it is a, I think this is a presidential election year coming up. Mr. President, Mrs. President, whoever is running, if you want to win the presidency, just in robocalls, man. That's all you gotta do. Tell the people that you'll put a stop to that stuff and you'll win. Future presidents of America, just saying. Say hi, Walrus. We sold old Brucey. What do you think about that? Are you sad? It's okay, I'll get you. A newer boyfriend, a younger. We're gonna upgrade boyfriends for old walrus. She doesn't seem to mind too much. <laughs> Cows. So all in all, not too much of a productive day. Took a few cows to the sale and fed some more. Hauled a few bales around. Oh, gotta love the, people say there's dog days of summer. I call them the dog days of winter, man. I can't wait for summer to get here. Get things fired up again. Hey look, it's old one eye. She came out. She's eating now. I guess some cows just don't want to be in pens. They just want to be with their friends. <laughs> that's a wrap. <laughs>